I know what you guys are already thinking. I'm never doing an exercise. The thing is, you probably don't do it because it looks intimidating and you just don't know how to do it. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to properly target your quads when you train your legs. Quads has always been one of my favorite, you know, body parts. I mean, you can't wear five inch or three inch shorts without having some good quads and say that you hit legs. So what I wanna show you today is how to effectively train your quads by doing exercises like this that you think is intimidating right now, but once you start learning how to do it, you're gonna see that it's the most effective. All right, let's get going. All right guys, so most of the time when you go to the gym, I don't know if you do back squats or if you don't, but if you do back squats, I'm gonna show you what you're doing wrong when you're trying to target your quads. So, your regular back squat, all right? Put it on your back, and when you target the quads, I want you to understand that your foot position always needs to be closer. But if I do a back squat, my foot position is here, I can never go straight down, right? I have to really push myself up. So, I want you guys to notice, whenever you do a back squat and you target your quads, you have to bend over, which your hip hinge is gonna be, you, your hip hinge is gonna be pushing your hips back and making you lean forward, which is gonna target more of your glute area, right? Not to say you can't work your, your quads still with your feet being close, but most of us can't sit up straight, put our feet close together, and do a squat. And that way, you end up not targeting your quads as much, and you target more of your glutes. So, the alternative for this, is, and the best, way that you can perform a squat and target your quads is a front squat. Most of us lose the wrist flexibility. What we say fingers, okay? So a front squat is properly performed like this. You put two fingers here and you put this bar right on top of your shoulders. But most of us can't hold this position. If you can, good. What I started doing, so I can get more reps, is I would cross my hands here, all right? Which is still probably one of your best ways you can do this, is if you put your hands across like a pretzel and you hold it here. This is, this is the way I've been doing it for years. Now, what I found out recently, if you take wrist wraps, Put it on the bar. Tie both of these nice and tight. You can get the front squat how you really want it. All right, more effective way of doing it. I right, hold here, hold a wrap. My put the bar right on that soft part of your shoulder. Okay, it's a little dip right there where you can put it. Now, keep your elbows nice and tall, and now your feet can be close. So the thing about front squats, it never gets easier. But notice, when you put the bar in front of you, it makes you hold more of an upright posture, which means as you come down in that position, your chest is gonna be upright, which is gonna target more of your quads. Understand, when you lean forward, of course, it's your glutes. So right now, we're up, which puts more emphasis on the quads. All right, chest upright, because you're focusing on keeping that bar up so it doesn't fall down, and it allows you to keep your back straight and to put more emphasis on your quads when you push up, okay? This is how you target your quads more effectively without including your glutes. Whew! It never gets easier. Let me show you one quick alternative. Now, if you don't like doing front squats at all, you have back problems, you know, you just, you just can't do back or barbell squats. You can get a dumbbell, and what you're gonna do is same as still a front squat. This is called a goblet squat. You're gonna put the bar, the dumbbell right in front of you, and you wanna find something to put your heels on, all right? Whether that's a plate, edge of something, 
All you're gonna do is the same thing. Still, this makes you keep upright position and you're coming down and just pushing through those quads. All right, that's your alternative. If you can't do a barbell front squat, you come and do a dumbbell goblet squat. Same effect, more protection on your back. Let's move on. Next is one of my favorite, but least favorite, and it's Bulgarian split squats. Most of us don't know the foot position to do this exercise effectively, but any way you do it, it's still effective, but it's not targeting the area that you might wanted to. So this is not wrong. The only thing that's wrong is you targeting the wrong muscle group. As you can see in this, my foot is way out in front of me and I'm leaning over. Whenever you lean over, just know that you're gonna be targeting your glutes and not your quads. Will your quad get some work? Yes, but is it gonna get the most, like the most target, is it gonna be the most targeted muscle? No. So what you wanna do is bring your foot back to where it's a narrow position and again, always remember, if you want to target your quads, you need to be upward, okay? In an upright position. Work the anterior chain, okay? So the anterior, the anterior part of your body is always going to be the frontal part, which means it's going to be harder on the front of your body compared to the backside. Notice, my chest is upright on this exercise. I'm bringing my knee as far down to the ground as I can, and that gives me the target muscle to be the quads. So no lean here, tall posture, bring the knee down, narrow foot stance, and now you have your answer to targeting the quads and helping them grow a little bit more. Enough of that one, let's move on to the next one. All right guys, this one, first of all, don't laugh, okay? I had to humble myself to, for you to see me training on this machine, but because I know it's so important, I wanna show you why you should be using this one, which is a leg press, okay? Now, this is not your leg press that you're gonna see at your gym, but the foot position doesn't change. The foot position goes from in the middle and wide to narrow and down. Now, when you do this exercise, you have to have good flexion in your knees, your hips need to be flexible because you're gonna bring your knees all the way into your chest and you're gonna push out as far as you can go, keeping stress on the quads, okay? So, it's not full range of motion here, but you do need to come into your chest and push out every single rep. As you can see, there's gonna be tension on the quads and calves, but be confident and sure that you're doing these right. Now you guys know what to do. Don't just go to the gym and do stuff. Go to the gym with a purpose understanding how to target the muscles effectively. So if you guys need more help, more tips like this, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna keep helping you guys get the best results you can so that you can feel better, look better, and do it without getting injured, all right? Progression is motivation. When you see yourself from six months ago, three months, one year, and you see that, hey, my quads grew, I got better results, because I actually know what I'm doing, then you're gonna, you're gonna feel good about yourself. So guys, again, subscribe, show some love. I'll continue to help as long as you support and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Don't forget those quads.